Got another question on the carbonyl compounds topic and as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay so we'll make a start so to confirm that the compound's a ketone the first thing we're going to do is show that it's a carbonyl so it's got that C double bond O group in it. So the way you do that is add 24 dnp and production of an orange precipitate confirms the presence of the carbonyl group. So what we need to do now is rule out uh, the fact that it could be an aldehyde. So there's a couple of ways to do that. So the first way is you could add acidified potassium dichromate. Now remember aldehydes can be oxidized to carboxylic acids. So if this is a ketone, it won't be oxidized. So you won't get the orange to green color change. So that's confirming it's not an aldehyde and therefore a ketone. Alternatively, you could add Tollens reagent, or you could say ammoniacal silver nitrate there. And again, if it's an aldehyde, it would give a silver mirror. So you want it to not give a silver mirror to confirm it's not an aldehyde and therefore a ketone. So now we've confirmed it's a ketone, how do you show which ketone it is, pentan 2 on or pentan 3 on? So the way we do that without using spectroscopy is we purify the 2,4-DMP derivative by recrystallization. We take the melting point of the derivative and we compare that melting point to data values to find a match.